What's up, guys? It's Xbox Jared here. I want to talk about the death of Elisa Lam. Uh, a lot of people know about this. You know, the lady that was stuck in the elevator, looking to see if there's, you know, anything out there. Very creepy stuff. Uh, first of all, let me just say, from my experience in playing horror video games, you never just want to stay in the elevator. That's never a good thing. Uh, if the elevator is not working, I mean, just give it like a minute and then get the hell out of there. Uh, if I had to guess how she was murdered, she was probably seen shortly after on that same uh, story. And, you know, she just, if if that happens, guys, you, you never, you never want to stay still. You always want to keep moving. So just a little advice in case you ever do happen to get that in that scenario, God forbid. You want to do the best you can to go downstairs to the lobby, uh, but, you know, never, never <laughs> end up on the top story. That's a game over. So, anyways, um, it, it was a murderer, you know, and it goes without saying there was no paranormal that happened. Nothing gave me the inkling to believe otherwise. Um, some people believe that, you know, because she was thrown in a bag that it had to do with, you know, some kind of, I guess, paranormal activity, but you guys don't understand, man. Like, some of you guys just don't understand how clever some murderers are. Some serial killers, I mean, I don't want to give them that much credit, but, like, they're, they're much smarter than you. Like, they're much smarter than most people. Some of them are actual geniuses, like savants. They're very intelligent, and the way they murder people is very intricate and creepy. Um, so with that said, whoever did this uh, probably just got a kick out of it. You know, they got a cheap high off of it. Uh, also, they probably thought it would be funny to see people speculate. Like, some of them really think like this, guys. Don't, don't underestimate them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you guys basically gave that person what they wanted. Um, this is an up, open and shut case. It was a murder. There was no paranormal. Uh, whoever murdered this person was just really sick in the head. And it, it is a really sad story. My heart goes out to this young lady. But another piece of advice for all of you young ladies out there. Never go to a creepy-ass hotel by yourself at night. Uh, or period. <laughs> Don't go to a hotel that's haunted or... or you know, notorious for having serial killers because that's what it's for. That's what, um, what's it called? Ho Hotel Cecil is known for. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's really all there is to it, man. Um, the fact that the elevator wasn't working, you know, just a coincidence. Um, but like I said, you want to get the hell out of there. Uh, you don't want to stay. And that was the mistake she made. She just stayed put in one place too long and that ended up getting her murdered, I believe, anyways. Um, but yeah, funny thing is, uh, if you watch the full surveillance video, right after she leaves, the elevator starts working. So that's some luck right there, man. I uh, feel sorry for that, man. I feel sorry for her. You know, if that elevator would have worked, she probably would have survived. But uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate. Um, other stuff to mention, you know, some people believe some other kooky stuff like how there was a horror book written that detailed the exact way, you know, she was murdered even before it happened, but uh, I don't believe that, and I don't believe it detailed the exact way. It may have had a few things here and there, but again, keep in mind, guys, this hotel was notorious, okay, for, for serial killers and stuff like that, so it's not that unusual that a book would be written about it. And also, I heard that, like, her name was like part of what was it like the tuberculosis or some shit that she caused from her corpse being in the septic tank um she has a very small name elisa lamb you know and just because her name or parts you know certain letters of her name were part of the tuberculosis whatever scientific name that doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything to me i, I just think that's a you know it's a coincidence so, uh, yeah, what, what happened was that it was just a murder, guys. I mean, listen, um, when you guys, like, make this into a big theory, like I said, you know, you're feeding all these psychotic people, not just the person that murdered her, but you need to realize you're getting off all these sick-minded people. 
people who would love to do something like that. You're giving them exactly what they want. So keep that in mind, guys. When you know you make all these conspiracy videos, and when you talk about you know how maybe goes through or in a vet or some stupid bullshit like that, you're getting these people off, and you need to know that. Okay. Uh, again, serial killers are very sick. And they're intelligent. Don't underestimate them. Um, what whoever did this, you know, like I said, they they did it because they wanted to fuck with us, and they, they uh, you know they probably got a cheap high off of doing it too, just to be sick about it. So don't give these people attention. Don't don't give them credit. And I know I'm kind of giving them credit too for saying they're intelligent, but that's just the truth. You can be a very psychotic person and also have a very you know well-working brain so don't underestimate that guys anyways I guess that's all I really have to say about this Elisa Lam uh, rest in peace very unfortunate anyways thanks guys for watching